Good evening, Internet. Tonight I'm going to talk to you about Neil Stevenson and his new book, Anathem. So, first a little bit of background about Neil Stevenson, um, based on the books that I've read <laughs> of his. Um, the first book that I read was Cryptonomicon, right here. Um, Cryptonomicon was about Second World War. Um, it was about code breaking and current computer technology. And it was also about money and the kind of value that we place in things and how that changes with new technologies. And then the second, well, second, third, and fourth books that I read by Neil Stevenson were The Broke Cycle. So that's Quicksilver, The Confusion, and The System of the World. So these all take place um, in the Broke period, They're kind of about the lives of Isaac Newton and Leibniz and they're about the calculus, but they're also about money in a way and how um, how it kind of became standardized at that time and again about value um, but what was really what really drew me to the broke cycle is that it's about science it's a science fiction that's actually about science. It's not about robots and space travel and aliens and what you, people usually think of as science fiction. It was just a fiction set in the Baroque period about science at that time and really got me to think about how we think about science and how that really changed. Um, through the Enlightenment. So, yeah, I was a big fan of the Broke Cycle. So I was a little worried <laughs> when I heard about Anathem, um, because it take pla takes place on a different world or in a different universe. It's not set on Earth. Um, so yeah, that, that worried me a little bit because, I don't know, he was, Neil Stevenson was so intense about kind of the research and the rigor of the Baroque cycle that I didn't know how, how he would approach this very fictional new work that takes place in a different world. But within the first seven pages or so, um, I was a little reassured because the first few pages are notes for the reader, which outline pronunciation guide and about 5,000 years of history of this world on which uh, Anathem takes place. So it was basically like researching history had become too easy for Neil Stevenson and instead he created a history for this world that was just as intense <laughs> and in-depth as our own history. Um, so Anathem. <laughs> and since we're talking about book sizes, it is big it is a brick. It is maybe bigger than my head. Um, it's 900 plus pages of goodness and I would recommend reading it highly. <laughs> it will go by very quickly once you get into it. Um, so Anathem, again, it is a science fiction. It is about 
a society in which kind of the the world has diverged and there are a segregated group of thinkers and the general population that um, isn't allowed contact or to be directly influenced by those thinkers. Um, if, if the Baroque Cycle and Cryptonomicon are about value, that's kind of the core that I see in them, um, and money, then Anathem is about consciousness, which is, which is huge, <laughs> and it wasn't a direction that I expected, but it, it like, it blows your mind when you start thinking about it. Um, it's also about a clock. Clocks influenced by the Long Now Foundation and their Millennium Clock. I don't know a lot about that project, but from the gist, like, the gist of it I think is that they're looking at creating a clock which is very accurate but not tied into any other major infrastructure which could be um, compromised. So those kind of ideas, thinking long term, thinking about how society can evolve, those definitely come into play in Anathem. And as the Daily Telegraph apparently says, Stevenson demonstrates a restless intellect. He's also consistently funny. And that's what I think is great <laughs> about Neil Stevenson's books. Um, he can take these really grand ideas and wrap them into a really funny and interesting narrative and fiction and make you think about them through through that framework. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much all I have to say. If I could do some video editing, I would throw in, you know, some crazy dissolve effect here, or maybe some pictures of clocks, but I don't, so that's it.